Hi, and welcome back to this amazing backyard desert remodel. Today, we're gonna to be building a DIY sprinkler system, which is so easy to do, and I'm making this easy because we're gonna connect the lines straight from the hose bib where you would normally connect your garden hose. This is episode number eight, and you'll only see this on a degree from YouTube. Stay tuned. As promised, we're going to build a completely DIY friendly irrigation system in this backyard that contains over 300 feet of PVC line. We're gonna make this easy by connecting it to the hose bib. As you can see, I put a splitter there so that I could still access the garden hose as well as the sprinkler system as needed. Clearly, I took a little bit of an unorthodox approach here when installing the PVC line. Unfortunately, there was really no other options and ended up installing it up vertically and then horizontally over the washer and dryer and then behind the water heater. Now, I know what you're thinking, this is definitely not to code, and you're right. The device you see connected to the PVC line is a one zone digital water timer for the irrigation system. This will control when the sprinklers go on and off. I ran the half inch PVC line along the stucco wall of the house and finally made it to the trenches. This is where the real work begins. In order to put the PVC line together, all you have to do is literally cut and paste using a glue and primer. For this project, I decided to use Christie's Red Hot Blue Glue and Purple Primer, which you can pick up at your local Lowe's, Home Depot, or any hardware store. I was so excited and so anxious at this point in the project, I really just wanted to see this irrigation system work. So you'll see here, we finish off this section, cleared the lines, and got some sprinkler action. So we're sitting over here, testing out our brand new system from a hose line, just from a regular hose line, using one half inch PVC, and we're gonna do this whole yard. And I was worried we're gonna have enough water pressure. But you know what? Look at this, we're just flushing out the system right now. Look at this, it's crazy. And the kind we are using are these big boys right here. Now before, we were just using, I mean, there's a tree going here. But that shouldn't matter. That This is going to be overkill. Complete overkill. I think this will actually do the trick if you have the sprinklers on long enough. But I only plan to have three minutes. Day 26 into the project, it was time to install the other 280 feet of PVC line. This would be the real test to see if this really works. Whatever you do, please do not spill the purple primer. It's a real bummer and this stuff can leave a nasty stain.
So we're marking our jig lines with this inverted marking paint by Rustoleum. I chose orange, but if you really want to, you can choose green, purple, yellow, blue. I think they have red, but whatever you like. They all work the same. Like that. Now I got a line, and I think you got an angle here. How are we gonna, how are we gonna do this thing? Maybe we got a favor here, and here. So we kind of want to angle like that. And if you make a mistake, you can go like that and erase it. No big deal. But you want to have an angle like this. Paper there, paper there, paper there. Yep, this is a good angle. And then we're going to have two papers this way. Yep, let's put it back. I think that was right. And then after the angle, like so, we can just close it off with a straight line. And that's it. That's going to be our trench for this section. So that's how you line out your trenches when you're doing the irrigation system in your backyard. So all the trenching for these irrigation lines are about done. My voice is cracked. The trenches are about done. And uh, look at all this mounds of dirt. This yard is just piled up with dirt from all the trenches. And we also excavated a lot of the gravel that was here originally. I don't know, it's starting to look a bit, little different. You can see all this beautiful trenching. There's a lot more trenching on this side of the yard because there's gonna be a lot more greenery on this side to compensate for the lack of because we got this big old gazebo on this side. But that's okay. This side's gonna look pretty bomb with all the green. This side gets gazebo. Win win. Let's do this. If you're just tuning in for the first time, thank you so much for watching. But remember, this is episode number eight and there's seven episodes prior showing all the progress we made from then to now. I'll show you a little bit of a before clip so you can see how much progress we've really made. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell notification for future videos.